Fellow Toastmasters, I am carnivore. I am a meat eater. Move aside, Tyrannosaurus Rex. I and my fellow Homo sapiens are now on top of the food chain. We're in charge. By the way, do you know what job Tyrannosaurus Rex would have if he were alive and well today? McDonald. He would be a military small arms specialist. <laughs> Hopefully the jokes get better. And as a primary predator, it is our job to make fun of the herbivores out there. For example, what does vegetarian mean in Cherokee? It means poor hunter. <laughs> now this is the way I thought. This is the way I was up until about two years ago. Then I woke up one day and my ankle was killing me. It was on fire. It felt like I had stepped in a bear trap. And as I stumbled around the rest of the day, I thought to myself, there's only one thing that can fix this. I need more protein. So that day for lunch, I had a double fat hamburger wrapped in bacon with plenty of cheese. And I had a super big helping of those greasy salt fries. And like usual, I had my four cups of high fructose corn syrup Coca-Cola. <laughs> Those self-service soda stations were made for gluttons. I mean, carnivores like me. <laughs> I was going to get my money's worth. And let me tell you, I felt younger when I finished those meals. All I had to do was go look in the mirror, and all that teenage acne just came bursting right through. Felt just like I was back in high school. But as you can probably guess, that did not solve my problem. In fact, that night, my ankle was killing me. I had it hoisted on three or four pillows above my head. I had it wrapped. I was eating ibuprofen like jelly beans. That was just to get through the night. So I showed up to my doctor the next day, and my doctor, a general practitioner, said, well, did you ever hurt yourself? And I said, well, I am a trail runner, so every now and then I sprain my ankle, I fall into a little hole. He said, that's all it is. That's, it's just acting up. Go home, sleep it off, drink plenty of water, and keep up with the ibuprofen. Well, after two weeks of extreme pain, it did end up going away until about two months later when it happened again. <coughs> and this time I decided to supplement my normal health care plan with a new health care plan called Going on the Internet and Looking It Up Myself Plan. <laughs> and after sifting through about 200 pages on the Internet of symptoms, I was able to narrow it down. I either had gout or leprosy. <laughs> Now, for those in the front who are putting their heads back and breathing through their nose, don't worry, it's not leprosy. <laughs> it's gout, and it's not contagious. So I managed to finagle to a specialist this time, and the specialist confirmed after a blood sample that, yes, I had too much uric acid, was not being gotten rid of by my liver, and I had gout. And I said, well, what can I do about that? And she said, well, lucky you, this is America and we have a pill for everything. I said, really? I said, do you have a list of what the side effects are? And she said, sure. And she took out three pages of side effects. And I started going through them. I can live with that, I can live with that, I can live with that. Until I got to the side effect that says, your sexual organs will shrivel and fall off. <laughs> that was the one I just couldn't live with. I'm sorry. So I said, okay, there's gotta be another solution. She said, yes, you can give up everything worth eating. You can no longer have alcohol. You can no longer have meat. You have to go gluten-free. You can't have yeast in any form at all. And every now and then, you basically are becoming a vegetarian who can have small amounts of chicken and maybe half an order of fish. And she said, are you lactose intolerant? I said, no. She said, good news, you can have milk and dairy. I said, oh, thanks for the good news, doctor. I feel so much better now. And she said, I can tell by your reaction that you are going to fail on this diet. <laughs> you are going to fail. And let me tell you, the pain is going to be huge, huge pain. Believe me, huge pain. Believe me, huge, huge pain. And when it happens, you'll be running back here saying, where's the pills? Where's the pills? Well, she must have been an amateur psychologist because she knew exactly what to say to make me never want to see her again. <laughs> I left that place 
and result a transition <laughs> from predator to prey, from meat eater to plant lover, from cow eater to glorified cow. <laughs> and it was hard. My very next post toasties meeting, I'm sitting there sucking on my celery, drinking my seltzer water, and my friends say, so Eric, do you think you're better than us not having any alcohol over there? We're on our, our third beer over here. What's your problem? And I said, guys, for the last two years, I've been struggling. I can't eat what I used to like to eat. But you know, there is a silver lining. I've lost 30 pounds of fat and gained five pounds of muscle. Yeah, my blood pressure is down to 117 over 70. I have a 58 um, when it comes to my pulse. I don't drink, I don't smoke, I'm not eating steak. I'm gonna live forever, guys. And you know what they said to me? They said, no drinking, no smoking, no steak. What's the point of living? <laughs> That's what they said. Obviously, guys, who if they don't wake up with a huge hangover, think they wasted the whole evening the night before. And that's what my friends are telling me. You can imagine what my enemies are saying. <laughs> oh, hey, we used to be winning this battle till that lout with gout came by. Now, we're in a rout. Oh. Or right, here's one. He used to have the best parties. We loved all that alcohol. But now that he's a teetotaler, He's lost all of his clout. And here's one my wife uses, unfortunately, way too often. No steak for daddy. Give him the leftover trout. <laughs> so, unfortunately, I've now become empathetic. That's a new word. It combines empathy and patheticness. <laughs> and I now understand that vegetarian no longer in Cherokee means poor hunter. It means former, formidable hunter. Now, seasoned, sober, salad-eating, fitness fanatic, <laughs> Bella Toastmasters. <laughs>